But just, just out of interest, uh, you see, if you do have a haunted place, this again, my theory, you have a, let's, let's hear, here you've got a haunted house. So here's a haunted house. <laughs> here's the house, all right. So you have a haunted house that there's a, a spirit, a soul hanging around in this house, but their body is buried. Their body is buried here. See, so outside the house, let's just say their body is buried here. Here's the gravestone. Um, and this house is haunted. If you could dig up this body and destroy it, burn it, so now you burn this body, it would m immediately reduce the haunting of this house. Because this soul has got a connection to this house, because it lived there, it's also got a connection to that body, because it, this, body, this body created this soul. These two things were formed together. These two things were formed together. This soul comes from pure spirit. Okay, this is, the, this is the initial process. Pure spirit forms a soul, but this soul is formed because pure spirit is forming a body. Pure spirit grows a body, and in order to animate the body, there needs to be a singularity of spirit to animate this. So these, all, these two things happen together, but after, afterwards, you can have a remnant of this soul continuing. And this is not reincarnation. Now, you can have reincarnation. If this soul is strong enough, if this soul is strong enough, it can find a way of getting into a new body. So here's a lady, pregnant lady. Oops, it's terrible. So here we've got, got someone pregnant. So this, 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 this soul could find a way to reincarnate, but it requires a particular type of soul to do this. And even the legends will say, you, uh, again, some of the legends of the Taoist immortals, if they, they fire, find a, uh, a dying body, someone who's just about to die, the soul could come in and reanimate them. So that this will be uh, the same old body, but with a new soul in it. So now we're talking about possessions and channelings. But the, the, uh, what I'm talking about here is very, very rare. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. I'm talking about uh, the principle of this. Mostly what we've got in the psychic world with channeling and even even possessions is very low level stuff. It's very low level stuff. You're just tuning into the spirit. You're tuning into this information and all sorts of things are in this information. All sorts of things. Um, so it's not what you'd call genuine astral traveling. It's more like astral projection. You can just tune in. You can tune in and filter some information down. The trouble is when you tune in and filter information down, it's filtered through your brain. It's for, here's your brain here. So a psychic is going to filter the information of spirit through their brain and then tell you about it. But they, they, this filter of their brain is not perfect. So you, you can't really take it. Any, what any psychic says ever, you can't take it too seriously. You can have a listen and say, oh, well, okay, there's some interesting things there. But it, remember, it's filtered through their brain. The best way to get the information you need is to tune into spirit yourself. You've got to do your own meditation. You've got to, you've got to find your own wisdom. Uh, and, and mostly we're tuning into spirit. We want to, we're asking a psychic for virtually irrelevant things. We want, to, we want to talk to our loved ones. Are they still all right? If you understand this, you wouldn't worry about that. You, you'd be able to find them yourself. You just close your eyes, go to spirit and look for them. And you'll feel them. And sometimes they'll talk to you, or they'll talk to you in dreams. Um, but you see, we don't want to bother doing this. We go and ask a psychic, and they tell us. And you'll ask information, am I going to be rich? Am I going to get married? Again, you're thinking very low-level, uh, trivial things. And you can't ask that so, such questions, because you cannot predict the future. No psychic can predict the future. The future hasn't happened. It doesn't exist. So you can't say what's going to happen in the future. You can't travel to the future. And even the past, the past doesn't exist. You can look back to the past, but all you're doing is tuning into memories, and memories are subjective. So no psychic will be able to tell you about the past properly either. They'll give you some glimpses. They can talk archetypally. You might get a few bits and bobs. Oh, that sounds interesting. But you can't take it ever, ever, ever too serious. The only way you'll ever know is in your own soul. You yourself have got to tune into spirit and find this out for yourself. And this is what we're doing in this training. We've got to build our chi, build our soul power, build our connection to spirit and our connection to the material realm. This is important. She do not dismiss. The spirit, spiritual people 
tend to dismiss the material world. You mustn't. Look, at this is the material world. So the spiritual people will use that, but they don't really think about it. This is the material realm. This is also spirit. So when I hold this, I am connecting to spirit. But it's, it's matter. My body is feeling it. But my soul is also feeling it. So this is a unified theory, you see? This is grand unified field theory. And the grand unified field is ether, but I can also call the grand unified field the spirit. Uh, and in my, I, I talked about this for many, many years in different ways. And I used to call this the great mystery. The great mystery. This was my way of talking about it. And this is kind of shamanic. So the spirit, the ether, inertia is the great mystery. We can never fully understand it because it's beyond time and space. We enter into the great mystery and we, we reach to the great mystery to ask questions and get answers. So how do we do that? Let's, let's talk about that now. How do we, as, as, as beings, living beings in this material realm, singularities of spirit, a soul, but in this body, how do we touch this great mystery, the spirit? How do we get the information, the wisdom that we need?